My BFI player choice this week is a French drama featuring the extraordinarily versatile Juliette Binoche as an author who goes undercover in the cleaning industry to find out about life at the sharp end of the economic crisis, only to find her own loyalties questioned as she gets caught between two worlds. C'est vous la remplaçante Oui. Il faudra vous fouler plus que l'autre. Hein. On ne voulait plus de celle-là. Directed and co-written by Emmanuel Carrère, Wistreham, as the film was originally entitled, is adapted from a non-fiction work by Florence Aubenard, who says, We were talking about the crisis without really knowing what to say about it or how to measure it. I decided to go to a French city where I have no ties to look anonymously for work, and my book tells the story of my quest, which lasted almost six months from February to July, 2009. In the film, Juliette Binoche plays Marianne, who similarly turns her back on life in Paris to look for work in a town where no one knows her. I'll take it, she says, when offered a lowly paid cleaning job, only to be told, they have to take you first. Starting out in the resorts, Marianne soon moves on to the more brutal environment of the ferries, an eye-opening, back-breaking experience. On the one hand, Between Two Worlds is a realist portrait of harsh economic realities that have previously been hidden. On another, it's a drama about deception, about the lies Marianne tells to make friends among the cleaning staff, some of whom feel betrayed when the truth emerges. There's also a self-reflexive subtext about Marianne effectively being an actor, someone who is only playing at being a cleaner, but who can go back to a more privileged life when she's had enough or when she gets bored. Some critics found those tensions hard to stomach and complained that Between Two Worlds should simply have concentrated on its socio-political themes. Well, personally, I think they make the drama richer, precisely because they ask us to question whether cinema can ever show us life as it really is, and what responsibility filmmakers and audiences must take when harsh reality is transformed into watchable fiction.